you would hope to be able to spend the time and go through the through the script scene by scene with the director and discuss you know that overall feel of movement of the camera within the scene itself and it would be at that point that you might identify you know and sometimes it might be the director who identifies a scene and says look I'd like to do this in one take because there are a lot of ramifications when you take a long scene and try and do it in one take, you know, everyone has to know about it. Because the, the actors need to be prepared, they need to know their lines, they need to be ready. The, the sound man needs to know it's gonna happen. You know, everyone needs to know that, that for that whole scene, they're not gonna be able to go in and change anything. That everything has to be ready for it on the day. Um, for example, on the, um, the whipping of Patsy in 12 Years a Slave, we spent the whole morning rehearsing. And, and then I think did only three takes. But it's the sort of thing you need to build it up bit by bit with the actors. I mean, for something like that, the first thing we did, you know, we cleared the set and Steve and the actors worked alone. After a while, Steve called me in just to see what they were doing. Um, and we discussed the movement. We got a shape of it. And then we called other people in to see the shape of it. And then we just started from the beginning and started working out the camera movement and the individual beats and position of the camera within the scene. This is without the camera even, you know, appearing or even a viewfinder, just talking and rehearsing. Then I would get um, an eyepiece with a, you know, a viewfinder and, and walk through it slowly, bit by bit, um, and, you know, then finally we'd get the camera, do one half-speed walkthrough with the camera so that, you know, at that point everyone should know what's going on because they've been allowed to watch. So the focus puller um, then is given time to go through and put down whatever marks they need to figure out how they're going to do it. And then when everyone's ready, you, t you t do a take. Those shots of nature were an integral part of the story. You know, the beauty of Louisiana is the counterpoint to the horrors of what was being perpetrated there. So they are, you know, very much within the script as opposed to me imposing them on the script. On 12 Years a Slave, I used exclusively cook lenses. The, um, I supplement the cook lenses with an Angino Zoom. Um, but apart from that, no, it's just a full set of Cook S4s. From very early on in my career, I, I started using the Cook S4s. I uh, tested a lot of other lenses, and uh, there was just something about the Cooks that I liked. They have, to me, they're slightly warmer and they have a slightly softer contrast and so they're slightly more forgiving. And, and I like that, that's kind of the way I see the world. I think some lenses can be too hard and too sharp and, and have just a bit too much contrast in them. Um, and I've used them ever since. You know, there are times I've, I've tried the other lenses and I've shot different projects on different lenses um, and still keep coming back to the, to the cooks. <laughs>